Kayvon Thibodeau is a very interesting football player. On one end, he ended up falling a little bit in the 2022 NFL draft, but on the other end, he was very explosive during this past season, and he may not have gotten the credit that he deserves. Today, we're going to analyze Thibodeau's game from his pass rush technique to his ability to defend the run. I'm really excited to break down Thibodeau. Let's jump right into this. I want to get into this first rep here. You got Charles Leno, the left tackle with the Washington Commanders, going up against Thibodeau, and Thibodeau's going to do a really nice job to beat him, get to the quarterback for the sack, have that mental awareness to find the football, pick it up, and score a touchdown. And these are game-changing plays right here by Thibodeau. I mean, that's just a really, really nice job. Now, I do want to break it down in slow motion because I think from a pass rush technique perspective, this is a really nice rep. Uh, you see right away Thibodeau's going to get his hands right on the left tackle. But more than that, if you kind of look at where that right hand lands specifically, that right hand is going to land on the outside on the left shoulder pad. So right, way up here at the top, he's going to grab onto the shoulder pad. And what he's going to do is he's going to actually yank this tackle forward to the side. And that's going to give momentum right there to be able to really turn that corner. At the same time, as he has this right hand on the tackle shoulder pad, as he kind of uses that to gain leverage, Watch the left hand swat down the left tackle's last second attempt to really try to stop Thibodeau right there. Just a really nice overall rep when you really slow it down. This rep really comes together with that pass rush technique. When we look at the best elite guys, right, what they oftentimes do really well is these type of moves, right? The hand-to-hand -hand combat, being able to grab certain areas of certain guys, pull it down, bring the second arm over the top, maybe use the third arm to kind of swat downwards. That's a really nice rep right there by Kayvon Thibodeau, and this is just one of many, many examples. So let's just go ahead and get into this next rep here. Third and 17, the play's going to pick up nine yards, but watch Kayvon Thibodeau's move that he's going to give Jordan Mulata, who in my opinion is one of the very best left tackles in the NFL. I think he's a top 10 left tackle, and to me, this is the type of move that separates the great defensive ends from the average guys, right? The guys that can move this way. Now, I want you guys to really think about what Thibodeau does within this play that allows him to beat the left tackle so quickly. When you slow this play down, right out of his stance as he explodes out, you see Thibodeau hezzy to the inside right there. And that hezzy is just enough where mentally a tackle is going to lean just slightly to the inside. And that's going to slow him down just enough where if you Put that hezzy move with the second move, which is a double hand punch to the outside. It may allow you to win. And in this instance, Thibodeau is able to win. And he gets a hit on Jalen Hurts, as you can see right there. To me, this is a really, really nice rep. Now, I want you guys also to keep this in mind. Uh, this play right here is as clear as day a quarterback hit. But statistically, if you guys look it up, Thibodeau didn't have any quarterback hits in that playoff game against the Philadelphia Eagles. At least according to PFF, he didn't. And I do want to just point that out because I see a lot of people reference PFF when they kind of bash Thibodeau. They say he doesn't get to the quarterback enough. And they say a bunch of other things as well. But to me, it's very clear when you watch this guy's tape, he has massive upside. Like his upside is possibly one of the best defensive ends in the NFL, right? Based off the way he sets guys up, the way he moves his body, the hand-to-hand -hand technique that he has, this guy looks very, very, very good, and this is kind of just an example of that. Watch how quickly Thibodeau wins on this rep. He's going to hezzy to the outside, back to the inside on 89, and he's going to basically once again get to the quarterback. Now, this may te not technically count as a hit, but he does pressure the quarterback on this one. Uh, that's a really, really nice job, in my opinion, to kind of force the quarterback to maybe get the ball out just a little bit sooner than he wanted to. You can see right away out of his stance, he sells this hard to the outside, and he's going to come back into the inside. And you can see 89 isn't 100% sure where Thibodeau is going to go. And with that, he's going to give this guy a left-hand punch to the right shoulder pad. And he's going to bring the right arm over the top. Just like that, he has instant pressure on the quarterback. And what's crazy is, watching this in slow motion, you really see the movement skills that Thibodeau displays on tape. Um, but when you put this into real time, you see how fast and explosive he is how quickly he's able to get there i mean think about it this guy's in the backfield when some guys are still making you know arguably their first move and no knock on any of these guys but you know Thibodeau to me has massive massive upside and it again really sticks out on tape with that being said let's go ahead and get to the next rep 
Now, just watching some of Thibodeau's tape, one of the things that I think really sticks out to NFL scouts is the first step. And I think that was one of the reasons why teams wanted to, to draft this guy so early, because that first step oftentimes leads to a guy winning, or at least being able to set up his pass rush moves in a way that'll let him win. Here's a snap of Thibodeau basically winning at the point of attack with that first step. I mean, Tyler Smith is a rookie, but he's a really damn good rookie. And you can see Thibodeau explodes so quickly out of his stands, and he slants so hard to the inside that Tyler Smith has no shot on blocking him. And the fact that the offensive line here gets out of their stance and all basically fires out to the left, basically puts Tyler Smith and Kayvon Thibodeau in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And in this instance, you see Thibodeau, he's able to break through there and get a hit on the quarterback. Again, that first step to me is one of those nasty traits to have, and Thibodeau has it. Check this next pass rush move by Thibodeau. He's going to do what is referred to as a cross chop, but to be able to do a cross chop, there's a lot that kind of goes into it. Now, it leads to him getting a hit on the quarterback, as you guys can see there. Uh, obviously, it's an incomplete pass, but I really want to talk about the move, right? The first thing you'll notice is Thibodeau's kind of far outside of the left tackle. He's really in that wide nine. Uh, so the tackle has to make up a lot of ground. So Thibodeau having that distance, being explosive, having that first death that he has, as well as the pass rush ability, is able to do things like this, where he hezzies right there to the inside, jumps back to the outside, cross chops using that left hand, and then after that he's able to just bend past the tackle and get a hit on the quarterback. And it's an absolute beautiful job right there. When you really slow it down and you look at it in the fine detail, to me, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, the actual chop doesn't land that well. Uh, you guys can see as he throws the left hand, it doesn't really land. Ideally, you would like this hand to hit and punch this hand downwards. And that doesn't happen on this play, but it's not a big deal because it's enough for him to get to the outside there of Smith, really bend that corner and get in a hit on the quarterback. Still a really, really nice job in my opinion. With that being said, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. You got another really nice rep where Thibodeau's going to jump to the inside and he's going to rip really hard and he's going to beat that left tackle right here. It's a nice rep and that leads to a double team. He jumps out, does get a hit on the quarterback. That's a really nice rep right there if you ask me. If this is third and four, you want to get after the quarterback a little bit to speed up that clock mentally, force him to get the ball out. It's a nice quick rep. Super nice rip move. He's able to get the inside leverage of that tackle. The guard comes over to double. He's able to force the quarterback to get the ball out. Just a really, really, really nice job right there. Let's go ahead and get to the next play. Check this rep out. You got a wide nine once again. And watch him hezzy to the inside on 74 here. Beat him and get a hit on the quarterback. Just a really, really nice quick rep to be able to win. Uh, and this rep right here was massive because this play right here could have been a big, big, big game. Uh, first and 15 and because of him hitting the quarterback the quarterback's just not able to get the ball placed exactly where he wants and the ball falls incomplete had that been a catch could have been a gain of more yards but again a really really nice pass rush move by Thibodeau wide nine first and 15 you're likely gonna throw it Thibodeau does a really really nice job uh, to me the pass rushing ability by Thibodeau is clear uh, the fact that he's able to do the little things where you're going to hezzy and potentially get your hands up as a ghost move. And then you're going to bend the corner by just dipping past the tackle rip. I mean, this is the type of stuff that veterans do, right? It is very clear on tape. Kayvon Thibodeau knows how to rush the passer. It's very clear this guy's moves are top tier. Now, what I need to see from this guy is just be more consistent, gain weight, be stronger. And just the things that 99% of rookies improve on from year one to two and i believe Thibodeau is going to be an absolute dominant pass rusher this season but it's not just his pass rushing ability to me his run defense is pretty damn good so let's go ahead and just get into that now when it comes to run defense i think effort goes a long way to being a good run defender but more than that being able to set the edge being able to use your hands to win and just kind of processing what's kind of going on in front of you also goes a really long way, and it's plays like this that, to me, really stuck out when I watched Thibodeau's tape. This play right here loses three yards, and this is an outside zone to the left of your screen. So what that means is all of these guys need to try to get out there and try to hook and pick off 
whoever it is that they can pick off because that is the primary objective on these outside zones but as a defensive end your job is to really get upfield and set that edge really force everything from the running back to the inside of you and that's exactly what Thibodeau is going to do on this play he's going to do a great job setting the edge as you can see he really takes on two tight ends let's back this up here uh, the first guy's going to reach out Thibodeau is going to use that power to kind of keep this tight end in check you get the second guy to come to try to block him he takes him on as well and because he's able to take two guys on number 20 here ends up having the outside containment and Thibodeau is basically able to stop this play and you can't really see it from this angle, but because he takes this tight end here so far back, he basically pushes that guy right into the running back there. And you got some backside pursuit. Everybody on the front side is kind of there as well. This play here is going to lose three yards, right? So this play right here, a lot of people don't think about because Thibodeau is not the guy that made the play. But if you ask the coach, they will tell you Thibodeau is the one that made the play. It's his effort. It's his physicality. The ability of him to be able to control that tight end, throw him into the running back, that right there is what led this play to losing three yards. So that's a really, really nice job. Let's go ahead and get into the next play. So we watched Thibodeau's first step in pass rushing, but watch that same first step while he's asked to defend the run. He has an absolutely great first step, and you really see that on tape as he blows this play up here. This one loses three yards. It's a really, really nice job to be able to explode through there, not get picked off by that tackle who's trying to get to the inside here of number five. Just a really, really nice job by the Giants defensive end to just get past him and blow this play up. It's a really, really nice job. Let's get into the next rep. Watch the effort on this play here as Thibodeau chases the backside on this run to the right. Just a really, really nice job. You know, this is the type of effort that allows guys to have success against the run. You know, playing run defense, a lot of it is effort. And if you give that effort as Thibodeau does on this play, these are the type of plays that you're going to make. It's a really nice shot, but I do want to show you one more play. From this same game, you're going to see Thibodeau here jump the inside. Again, as we talked multiple times before, first step. That first step is deadly, and you see it as he explodes out of his stance multiple times. He just blows plays up. This right here is absolutely special, and this trait alone is one of the reasons why I think Thibodeau is going to be a very, very good football player as he kind of develops and as he continues to get better. And it's part of why I think he's going to have such a successful NFL career. Kayvon Thibodeau is absolutely on a track to become one of the league's best defensive ends, and you really see those traits pop off when you watch his tape. You know, I asked some guys that I know that are very, very knowledgeable about who they thought the best rookie edge defender was this past season. And a lot of them believe it's Kayvon Thibodeau. Now, some people also will make the argument for Aiden Hutchinson, and I wouldn't disagree with that either. But I absolutely love what Thibodeau does against the run, against the pass. The guy really uses his entire skill set. And it's still surprising to me that teams let this guy fall as far as they let him fall. Because Kayvon Thibodeau has the potential to be one of the best defense fans in the NFL. There's no questions asked. Like, the effort is there on tape. The hand-to-hand -hand combat is there on tape. His pass rush technique, everything is there, right? And even against the run, he does a really nice job being able to control guys. I know there were some question marks about his strength. Is he strong enough to take NFL offensive tackles, tight ends, and those type of things? And you see plays like this where, you know, hand placement goes a long way. If you get your hands to the inside as he does here... You're going to be able to lift guys up. And that's part of his technique. And that's part of what made him so great while he was in college. And it's crazy that as the draft process came along, so many people questioned it. And I think after watching his rookie season tape, Kayvon Thibodeau will become one of the better defensive ends in the NFL. I do want to wrap this video up, but I do want to show you guys one final play. Uh, he doesn't really do anything on this play, but do know run fits playing within a scheme playing within a rule is a big part of being an elite football player and Thibodeau does show that he does all of those things on this play here he's going to make contact with the tight end he's going to shed the tight end he's going to get to the edge and basically that right there allows him to contain the edge and force the running back to have to bend it back to the inside so effectively he did his job forced the running back to the inside and basically the rest of the defense kind of got there and stopped this play for just a gain of a yard. But it's things like this that Thibodeau does at an absolute top tier level and it is why I love the Kayvon Thibodeau pick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will be following Thibodeau 
as well as some of the offensive linemen and linebackers and those type of things as the season kind of comes along. So subscribe if you're not subscribed. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button to show your appreciation of this video. Now, I'll see you guys next time with another video.